بازم اشرفی میمونم من سه موجت حریقم میدونی شعل بر میشم تو پنجه های بود لحظه ها رو تو کمینم همه جا که به دستم شب تیر سر بیاد اسم من رمز عبور از جاده ها کی میگه راه پیش رو بسته میشه حالا این خط این نشون که آقبت زندون از همت من خسته میشه عشقی بوده با هستم جز به رزمت Thank you, Madame Ergeve. You inspire us all. That film should be seen by every human being in the world to understand we are not talking only about abstractions. We are talking about our own children. When I see that film, I think of my children, my grandchildren, my nephews. We can identify so closely with these heroes and these fighters for justice. And the brave men and women that we saw on that film and the others standing behind them are huddled in a prison-like camp, yearning to be free, free of fear, free to practice their faith. The way Nelson Mandela left prison, not having to compromise his allegiances, not having to compromise his ideology. You know, the United States has made a promise. We signed a contract. It's a binding contract with the residents first of Camp Ashraf and now of Camp Liberty that in exchange for giving up their inherent right to defend their families and their selves, in exchange for giving up that right, they would be protected by the United States of America. They have not been protected against attack. We have not protected them. The UN has not protected them. We have exposed them to violence, to death, and to injury. I don't have to go over the inventory of death that we've seen, how many have died, how many have been injured, and God forbid how many are yet to suffer the consequences of our breach of morality and legality to people who gave up their right of self-defense. We're making a deal 
we're making a deal with the devil and we're trying to justify it on grounds that are unconscionable and unacceptable. The great Justice Jackson, who was the chief prosecutor at Nuremberg, once put it this way, those who begin coercive elimination of dissent soon find themselves eliminating dissenters. Compulsory unification of opinion achieves only unanimity in the graveyard. In more recent years, we created the International Criminal Court. What was the purpose of all that? It was not only to punish the perpetrators after the crimes had been committed, but it was designed to prevent genocide and to prevent crimes against humanity and to prevent the kinds of things that we're seeing happening in Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty by holding the sword of Damocles, the sword of justice, over the heads of those perpetrators. We are responsible. <clears throat> for those beautiful young men and women who did not have to die. They are the victims of our inaction. They are the victims of our standing idly by. And you've heard the pledge from all of us here today, and I want to repeat the pledge in my own name. I will not stand idly by. I will not rest until justice is done, until the perpetrators are given their due deserts and until there are no greater and further risks to the brave people in Camp Liberty. As Mayor Giuliani said, it is a no-brainer, but sometimes the brain and the heart don't prevail over cynical deals that we think have to be made. And as Governor Dean said too, we never benefit from making those kinds of short-sighted deals. In the end, justice, justice must prevail, and we must bring it about. Thank you very much.